Hello everyone, I welcome you again to my channel. This is going to be the 28th video in Test Engine Tutorial series. And as we discussed in the last video that uh, we are going to cover iSuite Listener in the next video. So here we are with the video. All right, so let's quickly start. Uh, let me open Eclipse. And if you remember, we have, you know, this is the same project that we use to understand uh, more, most of the topics, if you see the packages. And listener was the package that we used in the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, I highly recommend you to go and check that video in, in order to understand iSuite listener or what is listener. I have explained you in very detail there. All right. So um, let's before we start uh, with iSuite listener, let me just quickly you know tell you the last listener that we used was iTest listener, where we saw that you know this four methods on test start on on test success on test failure and on test skipped they are for uh, they are used on the test level that is you know add any method with at the rate test annotation and the last two that is on start and on finish they were more on test tag of test ng so if i hover on it let me just remind you that you know it talks about a test tag of xml all right these two both all right, so let's quickly start on i suite listener. So the the way we implemented i test listener, similarly let's implement i suite listener. All right, so let's go to new. Let's create a quick class here and uh, let's make it i test. I'm sorry, test ng. i suite listener. Make it more meaningful. All right, so let me first finish, hit finish here, and this will give me a. Uh, boilerplate so if you remember uh, you know if we implement any if we implement any of the test ng listener here it is not going to ask you uh, to implement those methods because they have already been implemented i suite control space and you know we have to use i suite listener okay so if you see here no error i have explained you why it is not asking me to implement all the test methods all the methods all right uh, i've explained you the reason in the last video and that's the reason why i'm asking you to go back and check the last video all right so let me just go and implement all those methods so it will be go to source right click go to source and go to override implement methods and i suite listener it has only two methods to implement and you can Close this. These are unimplemented method. If you go here, I mean they are implemented by default, but they don't have anything in there. All right. So, and I've explained you this as well in the last video. All right. So, uh, let's you know just for just to understand the concept, let's use you know the, the debugging statement. Sys out. Sorry. Sys out. All right. And let me just print that. I am starting with sweet all right or sweets okay and similarly on end i will explain you what they are don't worry ending i'm ending with sweets all right so if you hover on this now we have we have taken a class and we have implemented this listener if you hover on this on start what it says this method is invoked before the suite runner starts a suite runner is something which runs your suite okay you have multiple suite which it runs now in a, uh, before you run all those suites this will be the method will be called by default all right and the parameter it takes is the suite all right so you have to supply suite here okay not anything else remember that okay so we have successfully implemented the suite listener all right now it's time for it's time to attach this listener to one of the method one of the test class that we have all right now the test class we have is demo and demo two all right so but in this context let me create a new package all right and why i'm creating that package i'll explain you in a moment all right so within this package itself let me just create a new package all right and let's create it like let's name it regression okay so this will be my first package within listener i'm so sorry uh let me rename it i had to put um, refactor right rename it and make it oh, fine that's okay sorry cancel uh listener regression and similarly let me just copy and paste another one uh not this let me make it smoke all right 
to two package all right and let me just copy this two class or maybe just one class will do okay demo and paste it in regression all right similarly paste it in smoke okay we'll do some changes there so that we know that this belongs to regression and in the method let me just write it reg so that we know what uh, you know when these statements are printed this is out statement are printed we know that we know exactly from where it is coming so don't worry if you don't if you're not following as of now anything all right and uh, this state this will pass and this will fail okay if you see the assertion it's asserting whether 2 is equals to 3 which is not and this will pass because 2 is equals to 2 similarly we are going to add this same class in smoke as well all right and uh, all right we are we have added it seems right we did sorry and within this instead of reg let me put smoke okay i'm renaming everything so that we can distinguish between different methods and this is our statements that we have all right and similarly let's uh, you know rename the class as well so demo smoke all right finish all right so this will do the job and similarly for i'm sorry similarly for regression rename it and let me make it reg finish cool so we are all sorted we have everything in place two uh, we have two classes and i mean one class in each of the uh package that we have okay now what we are going to do is we are going to create test ng test ng xml suite for each of the package that we have and remember that we can have multiple classes within the package all right but just for this demo purpose i'm just keeping one class in each of the listener all right so let me just create uh, a test ng file for this package or you can create it for the class it doesn't matter because it is anyways going to take the class the, the the class that we have in the package all right so click on okay i don't want to override it i hate this right click on it convert to test ng and make it reg reg okay that's for reg or maybe regulation all right so let me finish this and similarly for let's do it for smoke as well so let test ng right click test ng convert to test ng and let me make it smoke all right so two package and two xml all right one for each and if you check the details everything is by default added all right so we are good on this part now and uh, let me just copy one of this xml file and create one more okay and let me just keep like oh, test ng suite uh, listener all right just name it anything you like okay so in all you see we have three xml created this xml is for the regression class okay or regression package you can have multiple package in it I and mean, multiple classes within the package all right similarly test ng smoke for this package and this is one dummy one all right so let me just open the dummy one all right now within this we have to make some changes now let me come to a point now if you open this this is the i suite listener uh, met a class where we implement i implemented i suite listener okay so if you hover on that it says it accepts suite and it will be invoked before the suite runner starts all right so that means as i am repeating again that it will need multiple suite it will execute before any suite is executed all right so we have one suite regression we have another suite smoke so in order to use these methods we have the required suites okay and now we are going to see how do we implement how do we call these for those suites okay so let's go and make the changes uh, we don't need test because we are not running test classes here we are running suites all right so in order to add listener for suites you have to add dot listener on the suite level and this is how we add it if you do if you're not following this i am telling you again please please go and watch the 
you know the last tutorial the last video all right now in this class name which listener do you do we want to apply to those suites okay so this is the this is the class that we want it want to apply so let me just copy this all right and in the last video we saw we saw that we need to provide the name of the package all right so package name and the class name okay and uh, all right now within listener we have to add suite files all right because the listener needs suite files all right now within this suite files we have to add again the files the actual files that we have so suite file path all right equals to and let me just end this okay and the first suite file that i want to use is the test ng regression so this is what we created regression and remember we have to give the extension as well okay and dot slash the dot is for to look in the root folder that is on the project level and within project level uh we are you know the system has to find test engine regression xml file and if you remember we have another one that is smoke all right so let me just make it smoke all right so sorry control z all right now we are getting an error so we have to check where all right so listener all good sweet files added added we have ended the tag listener tag ended let me see what it is so, okay we have some tag missing somewhere let me see all right i got the problem issue actually i have to end this tag right here let go now i guess now okay i'm so sorry guys uh we have to keep this under listener tag actually listeners control space all right no problem i guess i have all right so this listener should go within this listeners tag okay so cut it and paste it here okay that's the error is gone now so control a control i this will format the xml file for me now if you see here we have specified the listener that needs to be used for the suite files that we have mentioned here all right so if you see here we have two package regression and smoke say for example you have a case where you have a regression suite within a package and you have multiple methods to be executed all right and similarly you have a smoke package as well and within smoke you have multiple classes all right wherein you have multiple methods and that is meant only to be run when you want to run the smoke suite but you have a case when you want to uh, run both of them all right and you have a listener file to be executed okay so and that listener file should be executed for both the classes for both the package i would say regression and smoke so you specify the sp the suite file that you have and you mention the listener that you want to run here all right so uh, i am using suite listener so that you know that suite i mean this listener is applied on the suite uh, on for all the suites that we mentioned here all right so let me just quickly run and see what it is doing all right so let's run this okay so if you see here it has executed all of them all right they fail because they we have test method two fail failing test methods but if you see here we have suite 0 and suite 1 within suite 0 that is the first one all right let me just okay so first one is regression all right so if you see here for regression it says i'm starting with suite and i'm ending with suite and within which it has executed two of the test methods that we have all right printed for smoke all right started with smoke it seems and then uh, right and this is for this uh, regression one i'm starting with suite i'm starting um, it did not pick the regression it, no it did Oh, all right sorry i'm reading it uh in a positive way actually this is suite zero and this is the result of suite one all right so i'm starting with suites regression one method one method two and i'm ending with suites 
similarly and and this is the total you know result for suite zero execution that is a regression and for uh, the smoke we have this i'm starting with suite hello hello world hello world zero one smoke hello world zero two and i'm ending with suite so you saw that the statement i'm starting with suite and i'm the statement i'm ending with suite is being printed for each of the suite that we have all right the suite that we mentioned here so if you have anything on the suite level then you th that particular statement will go here and in which statement it's not necessary that it has to be something some like sysout statement in ca it can be any action that you want to perform before any of the suite is executed all right so it depends on how you design your test how you design your framework or project whatever you need TestNG is providing you. TestNG has many listeners, all right? And this is one of the listeners which you use on the suite level, all right? It says suite. So it accepts suite. Remember that, okay? And uh, yeah, this is it for uh, for iSuite listener. And uh, let me know if you have any question, comment, all right? I'll be more than happy to help you with an answer, all right? But yes, if you haven't understood this, please go and watch the last video tutorial number 19 okay then if you watch both of them together sweet listener or any listener that we discuss i test listener and i sweet listener will be very easy for you all right you can understand all of it every bit of it okay so thank you very much for staying with me for 16 minutes 27 seconds see you in the next video bye, -bye.